One of the biggest tools at Rapsodo is utilizing video. Uh, we're collecting a lot of raw analytics. Um, so by being able to put video uh, can be a visual asset to help the player understand what they're doing with their mechanics. Um, so the video is always available um, when utilizing for pitching, hitting, both baseball and softball. So when you're inside of the Diamond app, at the top you'll be able to see if the video is on or off. Uh, if that video is off, there will be no video recorded save to that shot. Um, by swiping over to the video uh, screen, you can turn that video back on. And what's going to happen is that video is going to be channeled from the iPad. Um, so it's, it's best practice to have that on a tripod typically, so it's nice and stable um, because it's going to shoot that in slow motion. Um, so however, the frames per second that your iPad can do is um, the video will automatically be cropped in that slow motion uh, in those frames per second to be able to see in slow motion the mechanics um, with the data overlay. Uh, when utilizing the video feature in the Diamond app, um, right after that shot is taken, um, you're able to see that video um, with either the automatic playback on. So in settings, if you choose to have auto playback on, you're going to see that video inside of the Diamond app play right after that swing or right after that pitch. Uh, you also have the option to turn auto playback off so that video can be saved for a later time to be able to see it the cloud or inside of the Diamond app. Uh, what the video is, is going to be a, an MP4 file uh, with an automatic data overlay on that screen. Um, so as we play through here on the iPad, you can see that it's automatically in slow motion from the frames per second your iPad can do um, so that you as the player and the coach can look frame by frame to break down mechanics, to get to point of contact, um, anything you're looking for like on the visual side so that you can pair both the visually actually what's happening with the mechanics with the data uh, to be able to make those evaluations. We have an example here is from our Insight camera. Um, so when you're setting that up, uh, the best way to do that is to utilize our tripod. Um, the most common view from the pitching side is that over the shoulder look. So the athlete, you as the coach, can see how that ball is leaving the fingertips to be able to make the visual connections from how that ball is leaving the hand to how it's affecting the data. Um, this is one of the most common tools when it comes to a pitch design session so that the player can make those connections on what fingertip, what the wrist looks like at release, and how that's affecting the data to improve pitches across the arsenal.